welcome to the Coach Kyle Show. Hi there. We're back with another episode of the Coach Kyle Show. I want to remind you that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And it's a good time to be reminded as we begin this new journey. Um, I'm your host, Coyote McKinnon. Remember the show we talk all things soccer. Um, it's it's no different tonight. But the ultimate objective is um, to use this show to impact and to inspire young people to live out their purpose. Yes, to live out their purpose. Um, the times being so uncertain and faced with so many difficult. Um, challenges um, and trying to navigate. We need uh, to re to be reminded that there's greatness in us, and we can achieve um, anything that we we set out to achieve. Just make sure, though, it's it's part of your purpose. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to spend time, you don't want to spend energy doing things that is not purpose driven. Nevertheless, um, I hope these few days would have um, would have given you some amount of encouragement in terms of where you want to go what you want to achieve. I hope you had a chance to truly reflect and strategically plan with the outcome in mind as you move forward. You know, some people have resolutions. Yeah. But oftentimes, they forget it's just a new day. Yes, it's a new year, but it's a new day. You're not just gonna you're not you're not just gonna change what you did yesterday. Today. So even though it's it's a new year, it's a new day. And everything happens through repetition. So I hope you plan. Uh, Knowing where you were, knowing your strengths, knowing your weaknesses, um, and have a plan to make your life better, to have a better outcome. So tonight we want to speak on it's a long shot. Such a uh, such an awesome topic because. So many times you would have embarked on a, a dream, aspiration, a desire, um, and you're, you're oftentimes told that's a long shot. It might, it might never happen. Some of, so many of us can connect with these simple words that would have shown long-term effects on our lives. So while simple holds a very powerful place in our lives, it's a long shot. And as we navigate through this, 
please make sure that you use this opportunity just before we go in depth with some of the things that you probably would have heard that literally controls your behavior when it relates to soccer and the development of soccer because it's such a massive investment but you find yourself not making that that step you're not getting to where you want to be you're not seeing the development that you hope to see uh, it's very important for us to dial in to this topic but don't be selfish about it it's a good time to share it um, this live stream with your friends with your colleagues with your teammate maybe your coach uh, share it with your peers If you have not done this already, please do. Um, I will be right back to go a, a bit deeper into this very important topic. Coyote, McKinnon and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks. It's a long shot. Yes. Bit of technical difficulties there. Nevertheless, this is the most important part of the show. I know it's uncommon. Um, it's on script. Most importantly, but more importantly, it's authentic. So permit me um, this opportunity to to share my story. You know. It's a long shot. And th this story has a great connection to this topic because you know, growing up in a very humble situation uh, with little, little to no support when it re with regards to playing football or um, what we know here in the USA, soccer, which, you know, if you, if you are from the country in which I grew up, you will understand the difficulties of um, being an athlete, much less being a soccer player or a football player and doing something uh, with your life that it's credible for a better word so the game you know was looked at as something of recreation where you you go and you have fun fortunately for me now looking some years ahead it was never just fun um, there was a desire there to reach to the highest levels possible. That was one of the that was one of the things that got me up every day, you know. And having this big dream. Uh, with little to no little to no support because of um, because having 
wanting to achieve such a feat is not common. It's, it's not a representation of a good life. It's not a representation of success. It's, um, it's, it's actually the opposite. But pursuing such, uh, such, a, such a goal or such a desire, sometimes when the support is not there, creates um, such a gray spot, that I would say, such a gray spot. And the other aspects that comes with that is when there's so much doubt me being a short skinny kid being made fun of by peers even by adults you know you would think that the adults especially would recognize that you're doing something positive and bring a high level of encouragement. Unfortunately, that was less than none. But there were a few people you know, who, you look back now, you say maybe it had to be God because you know, they were the ones who and everybody's saying, you know, you can't play, you're too small, you're too young, you you know you're going to get hurt. You know, remember Charlie Couchman, he would say, come on my team and, and play 11, 10 years old, playing with grown men. And, and, and times before that, I will, I will cry bitter tears because you had this time where the young kids had to play. And after a certain time, the older guys will come and, you know, I will get my playing early, but I wanted to continue playing. And, and for a lot of times, uh, that was my time to stop. But I, I will, I will cry bitter tears. And he would say, after a while, it was like he, he's gonna play on my team. So, having this long, having this desire, which no. No one can really connect with. Having this, this aspiration and this, this deep sense of this makes me feel or this draws me closer to peace and happiness. Excuse me that I know most young people out there can connect with. Yes, it's like me, it's just it's just a ball. It's just something that you're kicking around. It's, um, it's, it's not a real life. It's, 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 it's not all of these things. But what happens when it's something that brings you that joy, that brings you that discipline, that brings you that commitment, that teaches you about sacrifice? You have all of these people around which are supposed to be your supporting cast or the ones that's supposed to be the closest to you says it's impossible. And I don't think you can fool them, to be honest, because they can't see it. They can't connect with it because it's not embedded in them. It's a long shot. Because it's unseen. You can't ask somebody to have faith in something that don't belong to them. Because see, faith is a substance of things hoped for. 
and the evidence of things not seen. So you can't ask somebody to have faith in something that it's your desire, it's your aspirations that they cannot connect with. But that's not the worst thing. The worst thing when it when they don't understand it or when they're not able to connect with it, they do everything in their power to make you feel like you're not good enough to get there. I felt... I felt that way a million times. You know, everything that you come into contact with, school, uh, your peers, teachers, you know, it's, it's, it's so, it's negative. But understanding that it's sometimes people's fear. is what has turned term itself to be I care because I don't want to see you fail. But as a child, you know, you want to experience this overwhelming um, support to your desire. That's why, that's why it's a long shot to everyone because none of us can see it. But here I am with this desire, with this dream, with this passion, with this uh, it's a strong faith, knowing and believing that I can achieve such a faith. Not having that overwhelming support, especially those are the moments where you're really trying to find yourself. And it's not necessarily about the result, but it's the journey that you're going through that you start figuring out who you really are. your strengths, your weaknesses, all of these things start coming to the forefront. Lack of that support. Hmm. Relieve you the, the opportunity to reach the expectations. to learn from yourself, to become more self-aware. When these things don't happen, it, it creates a sense of, of emptiness. Because you have this, you have this desire, you, you have this aspiration, you dream about it, you know, it's close to you, it's deep, it's, in, it's embedded in your heart and and the, the support, the, the ones that's supposed to be supporting you the most, it's a long shot for them. It's a long shot for me, but I'm, I'm embracing it. I have immersed myself into this this very desire that I have. Unfortunately, not the same overwhelming support is coming from the ones closest. Don't worry about the, the ones that are farther away from you. It's the one, it's the ones that are close. Because they too worried they're they are so um, they're so worried about the results but 
but you were there for the journey. There's, there's an excitement in seeing yourself move from one level to the other level. You're experiencing things mentally. You're experiencing things physically, socially. You, you're seeing the changes. You're growing. You're challenging yourselves through this process, through this journey. That is building you all up to this, this whole person. And because someone is invested with that responsibility, feels it necessary to take that thing away from you because in their mind, it don't present the result. It don't present the result that they believe is the definition of a good life creates emptiness, unfortunately, you know. A lot of people take their life. What if I have to see it? If I, to believe that I have to see it, that I have to see it, to do it. But then I can't see it, but I have a desire to do it. Then if I ask myself, what is the purpose of living if I could only go after the things that I can see? Worse yet, if, if the things that I can see is not the things that I so desire, what happens? I continue to pursue, I continue to work, I, I continue my journey with this faith without knowing what is at the ending of the tunnel. But for every, every step that I took, I felt like I was getting stronger. I was learning something about me. I was learning something about my mentality. I was learning something about my shortcomings. I was learning something that enables my self-awareness and my self-consciousness. There's nothing greater than understanding who you are. And it's these long shots. It's taking these long shots. You know where your breaking point lies. You know where your strengths are. You know where the switch turn you up and turn you down. You know what can get you from zero to 100, what can get you from 100 to zero. You start figuring out all of these things as you go through this process. I stuck the task. With all the negativity, And all the unbelievers. And all the criticism. With lack of resources. You I mean I will go to national teams, you'd go to youth national teams with absolutely nothing. But I would sleep at my ball and I would dream big. It was to play in the, the biggest, one of the biggest stadiums in the world one day. An, unlike, an unlikely dream coming from where I came from. <laughs> you, you are dreaming hopeless, as, as many would say. <laughs> what if they were abs? What if I believe that they were absolutely right? Because I, I was the only one with this dream. I spoke about my dream in, in my class and the teacher and all the students laughed. They say, you were crazy. What type of life is that? Do you see what happened here? Just think about getting a job.
see as a young man going and you know being called out to class to go and play with the older boys i've been told you will be nothing you will you will be literate because you just want to focus on kicking the ball you know people make fun of you because you you're too short this this game is the people that's strong and and tall and and this and that and all of these things all of these labels all of these labels that said you know and and, and then look where you're coming from this don't really happen that this is a long shot what happens If I believe, if I absolutely believe all the voices, because by right, right? If everybody's saying one thing, if everybody's saying one thing, maybe it's true. I went on to play many years at the international level. I had the opportunity to play in, in the Azteca, which, you know, I look at Maradona all my life and played his World Cup there, and it was exciting to just be in that atmosphere. Once again, a long shot. But playing for many years and representing your country as an ambassador. For over two decades and playing professionally for 12 years, it's a long shot. But think about it. If, if I had believed every single thing that some that people were saying, what would have happened? That clearly says, not because every single person believes this is how something needs to be done or this is how you do things and you are the only one who believes it's the opposite, it don't make you wrong. It don't make you wrong. Jim Run said, "More, <laughs> the more you struggle to explain your story to people, the better you will understand it yourself. How many times are you willing to tell your story? How many times are you willing to keep going after this long shot? Because if you're not willing to keep going, if you're not willing to keep on this journey, like my story, the masses will win. And the trend will continue. Less of sure when Pierce, thanks for coming through. Another star word from GT Santos, but he can he could connect with what I'm saying. Coming from the coming from the place that I came from, it's 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 less to no hope. You know, it's 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 changing now. There's a bit more investment there. Back then, this what are you doing? <laughs> This 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 is the end of the road kind of life you're choosing. And because everybody believe a thing and you don't, 
makes you wrong. I know we're, I know we're taught that because we we live by trends. We live by philosophies that came from ideologies. And some people are smart enough now to use theology to back it up. We all live by trends. Presupposition. You say something over and over and over and over and over. You say it over and over and over and over. And somebody catch catch on and somebody else believe it. And then 10 people believe it. And then 20 people believe it. And one, 20 people believe it. 40 people believe it. Then it's true. One person come and say, no, that's not how it works. Who do you think you are? You are wrong. 40 people they say this is they said this is how it works so it's absolute it's absolute <laughs> i remind you not because every single person believe a thing and you don't it makes you wrong You have to understand that if you lack self-awareness and you lack self-consciousness, people will move you wherever they want to move you. And you'll find yourself in a position where it's comfortable to the person or to the persons who are moving you. And it's, and it's always uncomfortable for you. And there's so many young people out there that pursue this game that can impact not just their own lives, but all the young people within their communities, even within their family. And they're being robbed because it's a long shot, because it's not a trend. It's not a life, it's, it's nothing there. But once you start achieving great things, or once you start achieving things that keep you away from the law, you're not getting into trouble, you're not, you know, they don't have to pick you up from nowhere because you're drunk, you're drunk, you're drinking, you're smoking, you know, you're staying on a, on a part where you, you're not perfect. But you're not out there being crazy. Hmm. Even then, <laughs> even then, when when success, when a bit of success, because you have pursued such a thing, you know, most people have to convince themselves that they were wrong. They have to convince themselves that they were wrong. And in order to convince themselves, they have to go through the process of envy. They have to call it luck. And then they start narrating your, your demise. Don't worry, you know, give them a year. Ah, don't worry, give a year, give him a year, give give him two years. Ah, he would never do well. Ah, he, ah, he can't play at that level. They they have to keep trying to convince themselves. Because they said it, you know, it's not gonna happen. It's a long shot. Yes, it is a long shot. Because you develop through the journey.
You have to develop through the journey. And as you continue, you, you, you get to the point where you can say, yes, I'm at peace. I don't ever want to play. I don't miss the game. I don't miss the game. I don't even want to, I don't even want to sweat, as they call it. I don't even want to scrimmage. I don't want nobody to tell me how much to run. I don't want nobody to, to argue about mistake. I don't want to do none of that. I don't even miss the game. I don't want to play anymore. Because there's something about putting your all into something. It brings closure. Regardless of how it ended, you are content because you you can say, you know what, I've run this race and I've I've put my all into it. But for you young people, like I said, this show is it's it's all things soccer, but it's it's the ultimate is to impact your life so that you don't turn to all of these things that are out here, all of these trends that will lead to your demise. And if soccer is that platform that presents you something that can enhance your life, enhance your community, and in turn give back to this world, and this is the purpose. So when we come back, when we come back, we'll share some things that would have in some way or shape derailed you from pursuing this very long shot that can lead to peace and to a purpose-driven life. We'll be right back. This one situation here can drive your mind to more situations that you can create using the principles of the game, using the principles of the game. This is create space, maintaining space, exploiting space. Am I able to read how the defenders are set up, how they're set up? Am I able to get into those triangles where creates better supporting positions? Am I able to penetrate through, over, or around? Am I playing between the lines? Are the passes effective to break the lines? Am I only playing in front of the opposition? Am I stretching them or am I allowing them to stay compact and stay organized? You, could, you can come up with more ideas so that you enhance your independent thinking so that you can better make decisions on the field. Welcome back to the Coach Kyo Show. You were Kyo Day. Um, I know there was a bit of technical issues there. Uh, nevertheless, it's a long shot. And I figure you would have heard these comments it's an indirect way of saying, you know, forget, don't, don't really, don't really give you all to this thing because you don't really know what will happen. And remember, let me remind you, these comments will come from those that are closest to you. Because we oftentimes give ears to people that are close to us because we believe they hold our best interests. While they might not be doing it to literally destroy you, the sad thing is when you don't know that you don't know. Because that very thing can destroy a life. That very thing could make somebody take their own life. 
Because you see, there's something, there's an evil that is always seeking to destroy purpose. And whatever, whatever he can find, or wherever she can find, they will use it. So what you might think is a small thing, you know, that's the open door. And until there's a result, there's a lot of I should have, I could have, maybe if I had known all of these things, we all would have said. And the only reason why we were able to get to that point is because of the result. Because we don't have the same overwhelming support within the journey when the result is unlikely. What you want it to be. Or what you perceive it should be. Or what you think is a good life. Or a perfect life. Have you ever heard this one before? Hmm. You are spending too much time on that. You are spending too much time on that. Okay. What about this one? You keep going, you will burn out. You will burn out. I've heard this one a lot. That is not a life. <laughs> Soccer. That's what you're gonna. That's what you're gonna. Pres- that is not a life. That is not a life. Don't waste your time. Oh, this one is. This one is. This one is common. Don't put, don't put your all because it might not work out. <laughs> Have a backup plan. What do I say to those things? What do I say to you, young people? Spend more time. Spend more days, more hours on your purpose. You can only fight how you train. Half don't present the whole. You can't train. You can't be a hundred meter sprinter. Train only for 30 meters every day or train 30 meters four days in a week, train for 100 meters one day a week and become a top sprinter. Don't happen. Don't happen. So if you're purpose-driven, There's something in this game that leads you to be disciplined, that leads you to be responsible, to stay focused, to stay committed. I say, I say, spend more time. Excuse me. Spend more time. Spend more days. Spend more hours. You're learning something about who you are. So when that time comes, when the world sometimes feel like it's closing in on you and there's no support and there's no body there, and there's no friends, there's no family, there's nothing, you understand who you are. 
you understand who you are and you know that your life is not based on trends and status quo and what people think of you and what they say about you, but your life is based on your purpose that you are here to fulfill. And that purpose is only to your source. Give more time. Give more space. Give more hours. Give more days. You will need it. At some point in time in your life, you will need it. I guarantee. It will turn you away from going and take that pill that will take your life. It will turn you away from making the biggest mistake. Because pain drives rebellion. Hmm. So they say, you will burn out. No one knows you. No one knows you better than God. No one. They say the shortest distance between a human being and the truth is a good story, even if it lies. Anybody can tell you a story. Anybody can make their story feel like it's the perfect story. They have the perfect truth. They know exactly what is going to happen to you, when it's going to happen to you. Because they see it coming. Obviously, do the right things, eat the right way, take care of your body. If you want to be a top-class player, but no one knows you better than the source of life. No one. No one. Don't give nobody that credit. They think they do. <laughs> but who could truly define your abilities? What you're capable of? Who could truly define that? Might have an idea. But can you truly, can you honestly say, this is what I will be. This is what I will do. This is who I am. What I've done is not who I am. You are stuck because you are focused on what I've done and what you think I am, what it looks like to you. But who, who knows? Who truly knows the heart of a man? Hmm. I got two more for you. Stay with me. I got two more for you. No one, remember this. Remember this. No one knows you better than the source of life. That's God. Everybody say, every, most people believe in God. They say, God bless you. May God give you wealth and strength for this new this. God this, God that, God that. So people do believe in God. They said, sock is not life, then. Sokka is life. Because life is not being a, just a doctor, which is awesome. Life is not just being a lawyer. Life is not just being an RN. Life is also a fisherman. Life is a garbage collector. Life is life is a custodian. Life it's about purpose. And that purpose is governed by the source of life. And every single person has a role.
You see all these positional leaders and you have this person on this level and this person on this level and this person on this level have, 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 have caused us to be like, if you're not at this level, you're not good. We no longer have respect for those that are not on the world's um, definition of levels. So now we determine what is life and what, what makes sense. And what makes sense is, is being purpose-driven, is having peace, is getting excited about waking up. So yes, soccer is life. And if you can use soccer to fulfill purpose, in other avenues as you move through your journey, because just as just like I I I wasn't sure I could play, then I then I started playing. No, I'm not playing, no, I'm coaching. Life, this purpose will bring you through a journey that will bring you at different stops. And at those stops, you will have the opportunity to impact somebody's life. You might be able to say something that change that person's decision from going to do something crazy. But it's true, this very game. You don't know where you will be in the next 10, 15, 20 years. And you don't know how this game would have had an impact on your holistic life. And an impact on those that come into contact with you. It is life. Finally, I say put your all into it. They say don't put all the eggs in one basket <laughs> or don't put too much into it because you don't know how it's going to happen. No. Nope. Put all into it. I know capitalism fulfills vanity. It fulfills vanity. It gets you what you want. But you see, purpose is a well that never runs dry. i say that again. Capitalism fulfills vanity. But purpose is a well that never runs dry. If you can manage what you have, then be all in because you will get more. You see, you can only you can only get what you can manage. So if you halfway there, you're gonna get half. Because that's the only thing you can manage. You're not, nobody will not give you a job to run something if they if they know you can't manage it. No, no one will put you in a leadership position if they don't know you can manage it. If they won't give you a million dollars if they know you can't manage it. Nobody will not give you anything that they don't believe that you can manage. So be all in. so that you can get what you can manage. I know this conversation might be a long shot. Yeah. But we were created for this. We deserve it. And we have the power to control it. Stay blessed and see you next Monday. Improvement is a process, not a quick fix. This December, come to KMSA Winter Supplemental, where you can learn all the principles of the four moments of the game. A wide variety of episodes are already available, chock full of incredible insight from two qualified experienced coaches. Here are some previews of eye-opening quotes. Lots of players think they need to drive an hour or two hours to get good training. 
Because community clubs do not feel, most of them, if not all of them, don't feel the responsibility to provide every child the best opportunity. This is for players to have fun. So why not name it rec? An elite league shouldn't be based on teams. It should be based on the coaching. There's no integrity in the game. It's all about business. It's it, That's all it is. There's nothing about soccer first. Everything is about giving the athletes an experience. We hope you are available to tune in. New episodes every Monday night.